So guys, as you know that one day ago, the retail box of the Samsung Galaxy S9 revealed something interesting info about the flagship's camera. Ultra slow-mo video recording, we've already seen that. What makes the S9's camera so special? Well, this would be the variable aperture. As noted on the box, the Samsung Galaxy S9's main camera will be able to switch from f1.5 down to f2.4 depending on the scenario. This is actually very important for recording high frame rate videos since the camera shutter needs to operate at an extremely high speed which results in less light captured by the sensor this makes shooting slow-mo videos in darker environments and exercise in frustration especially when it comes to smartphone cameras of course shooting in the standard for many smartphone cameras slow motion modes which vary between 120 fps and 240 fps depending on resolution is not not nearly the same as shooting at 1000 fps this sort of frame rate is much higher very very much higher than our previous phones and this is very impressive the wider f1.5 aperture will not only come into play when recording super slow motion videos but also when shooting in low light when the environment is not well lit a camera with a fixed aperture is forced to rely on iso and shutter speed controls to ensure power exposure of the scene. However, with the Samsung's variable aperture, the Galaxy S9 will be able to switch between f1.5 and f2.4 depending on the scene, which should deliver better shots in low light conditions too. Here's a crop of photos taken on the Samsung W2018 flip phone left and the Note 8 right. Notice how the W2018 shot is softer at f1.5. You don't want to shoot like the during the day, but it could be better for low light photography. That's where the variable aperture comes into play. And also, for getting a variable aperture on the Samsung Galaxy S9, you can get a good looking bokeh effect to the background. Here's a picture from f1.5 and f2.4 aperture pictures. Sample from Samsung W2018 flip phone, which also has a variable aperture. Note the blurrier background in the shot taken at f1.5 aperture. Look at the background only, just notice the background. You can get a good idea about the variable aperture now. The Galaxy S9 won't be the first smartphone ever to feature a variable aperture. The Nokia N96 for example, which launched in 2009, had a 3 step variable aperture, f2.4, f3.2 and f4.8. On other side, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is rumored to boost an even wider f1.4 aperture. Although it also rumored to have two cameras instead of one like the S9. We don't know whether the S9 Plus will have fixed aperture in both cameras and simply switch between the two depending on the scenario or whether one of the shooters will employ a variable aperture. But I will cover each and everything related to the smartphone. So make sure to hit the subscribe button for the next video. So guys that's it for this video. If you like this video give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos and camera comparisons. Having been said, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.